Now it's time for another math easy solution to discuss uh, further into guidelines and curve sketching. Look at examples uh, part five of the of this uh, series, which I had, and basically look at this equ this uh, equation. We're gonna graph this one out. Uh, basically, again, uh, th go through the guidelines. Uh, look at domain intercepts, symmetry, asymptotes, intervals, increase, decrease, local max, min, concavity, and points of flexion. Then, from using this information, we sketch a curve. You can see the video on the info info link below on the, on the summary of these guidelines and also the uh, also the previous examples which I did. This was part one, yeah, and then this uh, was part two, this part three, part four, and the examples. Uh, and basically, see how I did those. But now let's look at example five. Basically, y equals ln four minus x squared. So first thing we do, we look at part A of the guidelines. We look at domain. Now to see where. Um, where x is defined in this case, or where y is defined for which x values, that's basically what domain is, but we have to look at what how the graph of ln x looks like. If you recall, e to the y, if, if you have a function like this, and the inverse is just equal to y equals ln of x. Yeah, and this is just the inverse, and then if you see how the curve of, if you have something like this, this is actually, this is how e to the x would be, and then Similarly, if you're with the inverse, you see my other link below on what inverse also a natural log. Basically, it's just a reflection off of the y equals x line. This is y equals x line, and then it's so this is how the curve of ln x would do. It'd just be a, m a mirror image across it, and this would be ln ln of x. And in this case, you can see that x is only defined for greater than zero, but in, but since this is 4 minus x squared, so we're going to have to have 4 minus x squared greater than 0, because this is only where ln is defined, where the base of the inside of this ln has to be greater than 0. So if we have something like this, where you rearrange this, put this on the right side, we're going to have 4 is the greater than x squared, just put it over here. So now what this, I'll just, I'll just write it uh, this way, be easier for me to understand. So we have x squared is less than 4. So basically, x squared, anything, if it's positive or negative, it gets squared, it's going to be positive. So in this case, the absolute value of x is less than 2. If you just square root both sides, so absolute value is less than 2. So what this means is that if you have uh, something like, yeah, so what I mean is you could rewrite this one as basically the absolute value in this case. So you'll have x is greater than negative 2. And it's also less than two here, so because and in this case, absolute value is basically it's just another way of writing this. So this is the same thing. And this is our domain, and this is the only x values where y is defined in this case. And so now, if we look at part B intercepts, basically, uh, we'll look at the y-intercept is when we set x equals to zero. So we just have put the zero inside here, and we're gonna get. Well, this one we just set it equal to zero. We're gonna have ln of four. Yeah, and this is the y-intercept. Now, to get the x-intercept, we have to set y is equal to zero. So we're gonna get something like this equals to ln, and this is four minus x squared. Now, to get this, we have to recall from again the definition of how we got the inverse, where we just had e to the y is equal to x. If we look at something like this for generic ln x, if we look at and then basically, if, if we have y equals ln x, the only way that this y could be 0 is if x is 1. Because if you set this is equal to 0, this is the same thing as getting e to the 0, and this just equals to 1. So in this case, x equals to 1. And we're going to get, this is only true if, it, if you have something like a ln 1. So thus, 4 minus x squared has to equal to 1, because that's the only way that we're going to get y is equal to 0. So then we just rearrange this and solve for x. Take this on uh, this side here. We're going to get uh, subtracted. We're going to have 3 equals to x squared. Square root of both sides. We're going to get, well, square root. It's going to be plus or minus. We're going to get x equals to plus or minus root 3. And this is the x-intercept. So now let's look at part c of the guidelines, which is symmetry. And uh, since uh, the function is basically has uh, if this is a 4, yeah, minus x squared. So this is x squared. If it doesn't matter what you put in, if it's positive or negative, you're always going to be positive. So then in this case, we have, if you have y of negative x, this would just equal to a ln 4 minus, well, negative x squared. And this, uh, just drag it here, this j is just equal 
to uh, yeah, y of x because this one will just be the exact same as 4 minus this one is squared is going to be positive x squared. So then we'll have y of negative x equals 2 y of x. So then this is symmetric and it's an even function. So all we need to do is look at one side and the other side is going to be the exact same. Yeah, so what I mean by that is it's, it's just going to be, if you have something like this, it's going to be the exact same thing. So it's a mirror about the y, uh, about the y axis. So basically all we need to do now is look at, so only look at, at x is greater than zero here because the, the, the negative side is going to be the exact same. So our only interval now is going to be x is uh, basically yeah, greater than x. Yeah, x is greater than 0 and less than 2 is all we got to look at and then just reflect on the y-axis. So now if we look at part D of the guidelines, we'll get asymptotes. Well, there's no horizontal asymptote because you can't go uh, make x go to infinity because it's only defined up to 2. So we look at the endpoints. So if we have so the axis is here, you know, I'll just put a point here. We're only going to look at greater than 0 here, so it's only defined for between here so we have to look at the limit as x approaches uh, 2 here and this is uh, 2 here from the left side so we have to go limit this is to get the vertical asymptotes if there is one as x approaches 2 from the, from the left side this is negative of ln 4 minus x squared now if it's approaching from the left side here the absolute value is less than 2 so then if you have something less than 2 squared it's going to be less than less than 4 here, so this would be a negative. I mean, uh, yeah, not a negative, this is going to be positive. Positive here. So it will be greater than 0 as it's approaching, but it's going to near 0, so it's going to be like, if you have this one, let's say you have, uh, let's say 1.999, and then square it, and then when you subtract 4 minus from this one, it's going to be approaching 0, but from the positive side. Yeah, from the positive side, and in this case, when you have ln of 0, it's just going to be approaching to negative infinity here. And this just equals to negative infinity. And you can see that, basically, ln of 0, yeah, this one, it approaches negative infinity, just from the, the graph I showed above. And yeah, here it is, basically, as it's approaching 0 here, from the right side, there's no left side, it's not defined. And it's, as you can see, that it is approaching negative infinity. Now, we don't need to look at the negative 2 because uh, it's symmetric, so we just look at this one only. So now if we look at part E of the guidelines, basically look at intervals of increase and decrease. First thing we have to do is get the derivative. Well, I'll just write down this one first so it's easier to do. So if we have, uh, this is the function, the derivative using our ln rules, basically the derivative of this one is going to be 4 minus x squared. Then using chain rule, you can see the video link below on the derivative of ln x. And then using chain rule, this one's just going to be negative 2x, which is derivative of 4 minus x squared. This one's 0, and we only look at this one here. And to rewrite it better, just get the bracket out, just have this one, negative 2x, divided by 4 minus x squared. And to get our critical point here, we just set this one equal to 0. And when we set this equal to 0, we're going to get, well, if this is equal to 0, this cancels. We're only going to be left with negative 2x equals 0, and this is only true for x equals to 0. So this is our only critical point here. So when we look at our the, which intervals to check, remember we're only checking the right side because it's, it's an even function here. If this is the asymptote at 2 here, and th this is the critical point here, so we only have one interval to check here. This is only one here. So if we look at this interval where 0 is uh, less than x, I mean x is greater than 0 and less than 2, and if we look at this function here, when we put in, let's just say, I just put a number in between these two, let's say 1, we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have, this is, yeah, negative uh, 2x. If we, if we put in any gr number greater than, th this one's going to be negative in this case, this is x going to be positive, but then negative 2 times x is going to be negative. Then on the bottom here, we're going to have 4 minus x squared, since absolute value is less than 2 here, when we square, it's going to be less than 4. So 4 minus this, it's, it's going to be positive here, it's going to be greater than 0. So we're going to have positive and a negative. Uh, so we're going to have negative divided by positive. This would be a negative. So we're going to have y prime is less than 0. And this is decreasing. And that's the only interval that we have to check. Now when we look at part g of the guidelines, local max and minimums here, well, we know that from here, because we're only looking at the right side because it's even, we know that um, at greater than 0, this is decreasing. So we're, the function is going to be decreasing somehow. 
And then if you take a mirror image across, this one's going to be increasing. So you're going to have uh, this one, y prime, it has to be greater than zero because it's even function. This one is less than zero. And since it changes, this is a local max according to the first derivative test. And this is the only one we have. This is the only critical point we have. So that's the only local max or min we have. And I'm in mistake. This is a uh, part F of the guidelines. So now if we look at part G, so now if we look at part G, concavity and points of inflection here, first we think you have to do is get the second derivative. Let's just write the first derivative out first. This is a negative two x, four minus x squared. When we take derivative, I'll just rewrite this so it's a bit better using the product rule. This is the way I just the way I like calculating is instead of memorizing the quotient rule. Just put a negative one across. Yeah, just write it like this. Just put a negative one to power of it, so we could do product rule easily. And then this second derivative is just going to equal two. Well, the derivative of this one is just negative two, and this is going to be. We just write down this for x squared minus one, and then plus, or just this would be negative two x, and then derivative of this one is going to be negative one four minus x squared to the power of a uh, negative two and then using chain rule this is just going to be of this derivative is going to be negative two x so we have this function right here if we rearrange all this one we're going to get yeah we're going to get negative two divided by four minus x squared and this one here this is two times two is is four and then x times x x squared and then this negative you have negative 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 that's three negatives it's going to be a negative this is odd number negatives and now just to the times this top and bottom by the common number here, so we get the common denominator. So this is four minus x squared over four minus x squared here. So we're not changing anything. And simplifying this equals two. And just expanding, yeah, we get this one when we add the common denominator. And then when we expand this out, we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get negative eight here, just times it out, plus two x squared, minus four x squared, and then you could simplify these two. This one would just be equals to yeah, we'll finally get it to negative 8 minus negative 2x squared, because this one is negative 4x squared plus 2x squared is negative 2x squared, and divided by 4 minus 2x squared. Now, when we look at this function here, this bottom one's always greater than 0, because it's uh, squared it here. And then this negative one here, whatever we put inside here, it's going to be positive. This this little thing is going to be positive, but then it's going to be times by negative minus by negative. So in this case, we have... Uh, y double primes less than zero for all values of x, and in, yeah, and especially in our domain. So basically, this is concave down everywhere. So we don't need to check what inflection points are there because it won't be any. And since there's no inflection points, it would be pretty easy because the concavity never changes because it's always down. So now we could go to our final step, and that's part h of the guidelines. We basically sketch the curve here. Now if we draw the x and y axis here, first thing we have to do is, well, a domain, just let's draw the asymptote line is going to be across on the, on the 2 here. This is at 2, and then also at negative 2. Actually, we'll just, we'll just ignore that. We'll just do this one side first, and then we'll just reflect it off because it's uh, symmetric. So now we look at the intercepts is at ln 4. So the, this one's going to be, let's say, is ln 4, you can see on the part B. So this is ln 4 here, and it's decreasing and concaving down. And then the x intercept, this one is at, we'll just call this point root 3 here. So root 3, it's less than 2, the absolute value. It's probably 1.7 or something. And then, then it's concaving down, and this is a local maximum here. So it's concaving down, and it's decreasing across the whole thing. And then the asymptote is to infinity here. So it'd be something like this. I just drew it a bit better here. So, and now we just reflect this thing exactly onto the left side. And then, so if we look at this one, we'll reflect it, we're gonna have an asymptote, the exact same asymptote here at negative two. This is a negative two here. And this one is gonna be negative root three. This is exact, uh, then this is gonna be, it's gonna be uh, increasing on this side, but then concaving down we're gonna go all the way down to a negative infinity here and this is gonna go to negative infinity yeah so this is our curve right here and now we could check with Google to make sure if we did it right and we just type this in here ln x this one I'm gonna 4 minus x squared this just equals 2 well yeah there's our curve right here there's uh, actually this 1.3 or something that's square root 
I mean, that's lawn, lawn 4. And as you can see here, you have 1.7 or something. That's for root 3. And as you can see, the asymptote is at 2. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's not defined for anything greater than 2. So there's the x. And, and then, yeah, it's just going down like that. So this is our curve right here. It's the exact same curve we had here. It's the local m max there, and that's all. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about uh, graphing. This was a useful one. To, and uh, also, I hope you learned uh, about natural log. See my links below on a lot of useful videos that I have regarding the stuff, stuff I did, like uh, the summary of the guidelines and breakdown. And I have separate videos for, like, increase, decrease tests and whatnot, and intercepts, asymptotes. Well, that's all for today. You can, remember, you can also download these notes. It's probably the most useful thing I have in a Dropbox link below. Well, that's all for today. Hope you learned it, and stay tuned for another math.